Andy and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. This uh, business of the tree week is um, mm-hmm. it's tiring. I don't know how the kids apparently so. Let alone for me. you. Um, yeah, I. Woo, woo, woo. I should have. Uh, I think. I think too. I should have not gotten that second second shingles shot <laughs> this week because it's a. Uh, it still got me, man. I, I, Apparently I, so. Yeah, that's, that's it. But I have to start off today. Um, I have to pick your brain. Um, okay, go ahead. Shoot. You, you're a man of intelligence. You're a man of, mm-hmm. of experience. You're a man yes. of um, what could be Wisdom. coded messages uh, and deciphering them around the house um, when you see things. Um, mm-hmm. Well, here's where I'm at. Um. Earlier this week, Cindy decided to wash bathroom rugs. Okay. All right. Now, we've got bathroom rugs that are for her bathroom, and we've got bathroom rugs that are for my bathroom. Okay, really quick. Can I inter- I'm going to interrupt you yeah. for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Married couples should have separate bathrooms. I yes. think that is fantastic. If you have the means. I understand. If you don't. Right. If you, if you have to combine... Uh, the optimal married situation. I'm saying this as a never been married guy, but I've seen, you know, but ha- have some experience in dealing uh, with the fairer sex. And it's great to have your own bathroom. I think if that nothing is phenomenal. else, guys pee outside most of the time. It, it'll save a lot of stress anyway. Yeah, exactly. So um, here, she does the rugs. Mm-hmm. The rugs are done. Nice and fluffy. Very clean. Everything mm-hmm. looks great. But. Along with the rugs comes the bath mat. Right. Now, the bath mat is different than the rugs. The yes. bath mat is what you step out mm-hmm. onto after, after yes, the shower. Yes, 100%. All right. So, this week, upon completing the rug cleaning, she put the powder blue bath mat in my bathroom and took the darker bath mat and put it in her bathroom. Okay. I, I walk in and I see the powder blue bath mat in, and I mean it's really powdery blue. So, so you're saying you had you? She gave you the more effeminate bath mat, and, I'm, you, and she took I'm the more masculine. I'm looking at this bath mat and I'm thinking to myself, "What have I done that says I need to man you're up a little, more you're to little, get you're my dainty. dark bath mat?" Back? You know, I don't know. What, well, what say I, you, know, Dave Cackley? Think this one through. You know, I, mean, I, I again. That's a good question because there, there is, it, it, you know what? It may not even be conscious on her. She might not even know exactly what it is. It could be a subconscious thing. There is a reason that she did that, though. One hundred percent. What that reasoning is, I'm not exactly sure. Okay, can, have you? Did, have you? gone over your head things that you've done during the week that could be uh classified well as as, know, as less than masculine i well, well no nothing never never oh come on oh, I'm, I'm a man's man dude right? you uh, and seriously in I'm some the king areas of, the of this relation no 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 oh yeah in some areas of the, no. this relationship so that's, in some that's areas, where you're wrong you are kind of the girl no and I'm not. I'm not saying that to disparage you. Not at all. all. I'm just no, saying. not taking that way at all. But Certain you know, you know how things run around here. I I am the uh, what's the word? Um, I, I'm the man of the house. Let's let's just face it. Okay. Yeah. All right. It depends on what the on what it is. Well, how about this? Generally, when I get <laughs> home at the door, robe and slippers. That's Wait, are, that, that are waiting for you? Yeah, right there. Along with, you know, oh, hi, honey, how's your day? You know, all that stuff. All that classic, mm-hmm. all that classic smoking hot wife stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what you get. Does she have a delicious pie waiting for you, too? Every or no? night. Every, every night. Day. Every night. So it, can, hot, it can't be that. A nice pot roast cooking in the crock pot? Um, not always, but um, if, if sometimes, yes. And um, always, Meatloaf on Wednesdays? Um, nope, I haven't had meatloaf no, me on love. Wednesdays. For okay, but somebody's slipping. We're, we're getting down um, to this this problem of 
it's Batman again. And I, okay. I really just don't know what's again, being said with the switching of Batman. It is something in her subconscious. Again, I, I'm I hate to go I hate to go dime store psychoanalysis, but it is something that you have done relatively recently. And again, it's not necessarily a negative. It's just something that could be construed as somewhat feminine or less than masculine okay. uh, to lead her to give you the effeminate uh, uh, bath rug. Well. I just now, you've got, I, I wasn't there, not being there. Right. Where, I mean, were Did you, you, were you wearing it? Were you wearing an apron at any point this week? Well, she did make me uh, do a little dusting. Um, okay, we're into okay, dusting. In the fishnets, in the fishnets, mopping is unisex. Mopping is unisex. Dusting is feminine. Not saying I, men can't not do sure it, but it's that. a feminine thing. Yeah. I, I'm i just, look, I'm trying to help you help you. I don't know. I, 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 we, 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 might, we might have to confront this over the weekend. I, room know, on your couch I think just you probably case. should. No, 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 there's not. Um, But just try and be conscious, yep. be cognizant, as my dad would say. Cognizant. of uh, the things you do the yep. way you interact yep and if you know did you did you burst into tears at any point this week uh well just I, burst I just, burst but i got a little misty eyed with uh, my my little friend sophie um, oh, okay well see that's okay <clears throat> yeah that's all right yeah you know um all right anyway Give it a think over the weekend. Maybe we'll. Okay. Maybe the situation will yeah, change. We'll, yes. I don't know. This um, is good. See, this is good. It's it's good to hash this out with a with another fella. Okay. You know? Well, that's, that's, what I'm here that's for. why we're here. All right. All right. Well, th- thank you for your before. somewhat You're advice. Great. That was great. Hey, look, hey, I'm just again always here to help. All right. All right. Thank you. Ready to get into it? Oh, here. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Suicides by firearm have reached an all-time high. According to the Centers for Disease Control, those uh, deaths have jumped 11% since 2019. As suicides typically represent two-thirds of all gun fatalities. Over 27,000 died by self-inflicted gunshot wounds in 2022. That's one of those things that when you, when you talk about the gun debate, and people kind of get all up in arms, for lack of a better word, over like, uh, automatic rifles yeah. and everything. Uh, handguns are the the guns that create the most death. Um, but you're never going to get rid of those. Nope. Uh, you're not going to get rid of shotguns. You can get rid of every AR-15, and you're not going to get rid of. I mean, you can lower the body count on certain things, like on mass shootings, and there 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 could be some some kind of compromise on 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 some type of restrictions involving this, that, or the other. But at the end of the day, and everybody says it's not mental health, it is mental health. It's absolutely mental health. It's 100% mental health. It's got nothing to do with the implement at all. And Exactly. And the positive thing is we are at a point in society, and I'm I'm against a, a a lot of contemporary stuff, but letting people know how you're doing mentally and... Uh, not ignoring shit like that. Yeah. If you're really down, really depressed. Uh, again, I don't have a lot of that, but I am aware of it. I'm aware that it can happen. And it's yeah. good to just, you know, ask somebody how they're doing. Or if you're, you know, you don't need to, you don't need to necessarily hide it. Right. If you're not doing well. Right. That's okay. I agree with that totally. There but, you go. Look at us. You know, with the gun thing, agreement. It, 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 they are. They are not going away, period. Mm. Um, mental health is exactly where it's at. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I've ever once said, I, you know, I have an AR-15. It shoots mm-hmm. 223 bullets. Um, mm-hmm. It looks just like the scary gun everybody talks about. It's still mm-hmm. in the box. I haven't even taken the stickers right. off of it, right? Yeah. It, it, it's, the, it's the user of the piece and what they right. have in mind with it. Yeah. So, but you don't know. But uh, 
I, I guess the point I was trying to make with that is, is that if if it's one person with a handgun and they want to do themselves in, that's just going to happen. It's going to happen, right? Yeah, but it's sad. It's yeah. The argument to be made is, if you get a lunatic that's got access to that AR-15 and he mm-hmm. wouldn't waste 50 before somebody can get to yeah. him, that's where the argument starts to pop up. And and we don't know. This is this is something, and I don't know what the answer is to this either. Is and, and I think you and I have touched on it, but we've never really delved into it as far as what type of medical condition should prevent you from leave because we can all always go okay if you've got if you've committed a felony previously with a firearm okay yeah Yeah. you're not allowed but what type of mental condition should preclude you from uh that constitutional right or does that even exist right he's like no you can't infringe on this this is a guaranteed this is a constitutional that's a guarantee you have the right to do it is it is it bipolar disorder is it i don't name your name your is it uh, mental fatigue i don't know but here's the problem i have no idea <clears throat> you start coming i'm not a gun that. guy though nobody's gonna go I'm not in, a gun nobody's gonna, mental health is gonna go right down the toilet yeah that's nobody's, true too nobody's gonna go in and ask right so. exactly that's another point it's like it's double like you there it's almost there we, we never have this is something in i no learned way. this relatively recently is there are very few solutions there are only almost always only trade-offs yep what are you willing to trade yep for this and and it's a delicate balance and and it's it's really hard to figure out most of the time Uh, what else is going on uh the tech overlords at google will soon begin deleting inactive gmail accounts starting today google will purge accounts that haven't been used or signed into for at least two years. Uh, Documents, calendar entries, and photos will all be erased from those uh, dormant accounts. I mean, if you gave a shit, you would have already, you know, accessed your Gmail. So I don't think this is a huge thing. It's kind of like a a little bit of a, you know, house cleaning thing from a a tech standpoint, I guess. I, I don't have an issue with it. I don't care. Finally! Big football weekend for the Lions and the Wolverines. Detroit will look to bounce back from their Thanksgiving upset loss to Green Bay as they travel to New Orleans to take on the Saints. Still in first place, Lions are a four-point favorite. Michigan, meanwhile, travels to Indy for the Big Ten championship game against also ran Iowa. 21-and-a-half point favorite. I am really thinking about putting some uh, bank on the Wolverines in this one. Iowa is terrible offensively. This should be a blowout. If the, if Michigan were to somehow lose this game, which I don't think can happen, but if it did happen, there would have to be an investigation because this is the biggest mismatch in the history of this uh, conference championship. Wow. Michigan State should have beat Iowa this year. Iowa should have lost at least four or five other games. And somehow – they managed to finagle their way into the Big Ten Championship, which is an absolute joke. Uh, so if you're a Michigan fan, there will never be a less stressful championship game in the history of, of Michigan football than this one. And enjoy it because Jim Harbaugh is gone after this year. Uh, he's probably going to the Bears. Hmm. So, And, and I'm, I'm not just saying that because I hope and pray as a Michigan State fan that he leaves. But I just think he's gone, and and that, that's the rumor mill is ginned up again, and it kind of looks like he's he's going to Chicago, but we shall see. Cowboys beat Seattle forty one thirty five Thursday night football on Prime. Pistons lose again to the Knicks one eighteen to one twelve. Detroit two and seventeen on the year. Oh, for the month of November, they lost every single basketball game in November. Wow. I don't know. You're you're approaching the, the 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 same type of team that the Lions were back when they went 0 16, and the Tigers were when they were. I can't remember if they set the Major League Baseball record for losses or if they just flirted with it, but that's just atrocious. Wings, meanwhile, looking okay. They beat the Chicago five to one. They're above mediocre. So uh, that's sports. Okay, are you done? I'm done. I quit paying attention. Yeah, of course you did. Nice. Yeah, and you've got other things to worry about. You're worried about your uh, I kept thinking uh, de- about the declining your your declining testosterone and Some all of that your too. Uh, oh, that, that shot was this week. Oh, 
Look, it's player. okay. You know, don't you look? Don't you know? Yeah. You don't want the shingles. <sighs> Just saying. Ready for some Jeopardy? Why not? Fifty thousand in the hole. Um, this is an exciting category. Almost president. Twelve hundred. Almost president. Yep. Almost <laughs> president. And I think you're a shoe in for this one. Okay, you said I was a shoe in a couple of days ago, and I whiffed. So let's uh, let's I'm, stop. Well, I, don't, don't get me overconfident. I'm up with people, people, and uh-huh. that's that's where I'm going. Right. Right. All right. This man's wife prevented him. Oh Jesus! Bad eyes. Can you not even read it, dude? Look, look. Okay, you brought me. Down. Okay, put on your old man. Put on your old man. Glad there you go. All right. This man's wife prevented him from resigning despite of a stroke, leaving Veep Thomas Marshall to only dream. Oh, oh, I know this. Oh God, he was the worst president of all time, Woodrow Wilson. Wow! Look at you. Boom. I thought you were going to say FDR. No, no, you know, he had a he had a brain hemorrhage and died. So boom, here we go. Look at you. One, two, three, bang! Yeah, you know his wife was. Te- it's weird because yeah, Woodrow Wilson's wife uh, was running the country. Then. Wow, she was like everything was going through his wife yeah. at that point. She was. I mean, it was. It's believed that she was making the majority of the decisions. So. That's there you the go, ladies. Congratulations. So, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> You'll find out someday. Stop so. patronizing. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Don't forget to tune into the Mona Shore Singing Christmas Tree Saturday night. See ya. Happy Friday, Muskegon. Snow will move into the area today, so let's take a look at your forecast brought to you by Trinity Health. Taking a look at your weather headlines, snow will move in today, like I said, with a few slick spots possible, especially if some heavier bands set over Muskegon County, but it looks like most of the roadways will just be wet, and it does look like another round of mix of rain and snow will move in on Sunday and next Tuesday, with a warmer start overall to December with temperatures mostly in the upper 30s to even 40 degrees. So here's what the future radar looks like. This is noon on Friday, and the snow will even arrive a little bit earlier than that, probably after 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. or so. And it looks like the heaviest of the snow will just stay south of Muskegon, around the Grand Rapids area, or around there, points towards Lansing. And then that snow will continue for a few hours before ending around 4 p.m. or so. And then another round will arrive around 10 p.m. or a little bit before that, which that will bring more snow. So in total, we're expecting around one to three inches of snow, especially around Grand Rapids toward Lansing and points to the north. So along I-96, pretty much one to three inches of snow is expected by Saturday morning. So for your Friday, expect a high of 36 with snow showers, especially around 9 a.m. to about 2 p.m. And then again, later in the evening into the overnight hours with a low of 32 as well. And then after the snow shower activity today, which shouldn't cause too much issues on the roadways, we'll have a break on Saturday with just cloudy skies, and then a mix of rain and snow will move in Saturday night going into Sunday, especially during the daytime hours on Sunday with temperatures holding in the upper 30s. And then we'll have another break on Monday, maybe even seeing some sunshine before another round of rain and snow moves in on next Tuesday. And then after that, it looks like we'll actually warm up into the 40s. So it doesn't look like a whole lot of snow is expected for at least the first several days of the month of December. And that is your Friday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health on the Muskegon Channel and I'm Cold Woods Weather. And enjoy your Friday and your weekend.